Hey beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Genesis. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the beauty family. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, then welcome back girl. Today I will be unbagging, because it's not boxing, my beauty con hauler bag that I received when I went to beauty con. You guys, this thing is literally like 20 pounds. No lie, this thing is super heavy. I haven't looked inside. I don't know what's in here, so it's gonna be my first time looking at everything. I wanted to leave it for a video for you guys. I asked you guys on Instagram. I did a poll if you guys wanted to see if the hauler pass tickets for BeautyCon are worth it or not. So if you want to see what is in this 20 pound bag, then definitely keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get into it because I really want to see what is in here. The cool thing about this, you guys, is honestly, you don't even have to have a lot of money to go. You can just buy like a general admission ticket, which I believe is like 50 or $60. And you just go because honestly, each booth gives free samples. And when I see free samples, I'm not talking about little samples. Like they literally give you a full size product of stuff. So I definitely recommend you to go if it's something that interests you. Like it's something that you've been wanting to go. But you're just like, oh, I'm, I don't have money to spend. You honestly do not need money to spend. You can just take money for your food. But the ticket that I had was actually thanks to my friend Amani for watching this. And DJ, thank you guys so much. If you guys haven't watched my BeautyCon vlog, then you should definitely check it out. I'll go ahead and link it down below. You can go ahead and watch it after this video since you're already on my channel. Might as well. I'll go ahead and link it down below. But I'm pretty much, it's like this ticket was 200 It was for Saturday and Sunday. You had two hours of early access. You would go two hours before general admissions, was, which honestly, that helps a lot with lines. And then you get this bag, obviously, that it's supposed to be worth $200 plus. So we're going to go ahead and go into this. So the first thing I see here is True Water Light Gel Cream. And it looks like it is from Korea. So it's pretty much a face mask. So this is interesting. There's that. Next, I see an Hourglass Lip Stylo. Next, I see, oh, this looks amazing. This is Ofra Beauty Duet Brush Line of Off, not Ofra, I said Ofra, Off Beauty. It's a duet brush. You know though, for me, like this looks really, like this looks really good, but honestly, I'm not like the biggest fan of dual-ended brushes. I don't know why, I feel like just, cause I feel like I can't store them. So I think that's why it bothers me. There's that. We have some makeup wipes, which these always come in handy when you run out of your good ones. You can always just get some of those. We have this Caption Art Screen It Girl. It's pretty much patterns for your nails. Honestly, this is good. This will come in handy for me. Next, I see this Becca Backlight Primer Filler. I've never used a Becca primer, so this is kind of cool. Next, I see this Protein Bar. Honestly, I don't know why they give this. I'll probably give that to my kids. Next, I see this. Oh, this will come in clutch. I see this hard as nails strengthener. This is perfect for like me right now that I have my clicks off to make my nails strong again before I put a clicks again. So I think this is pretty cool. This is uh, your facial mini scrubber with smart technology. Ooh, this is pretty much like to take off your dead skin. I think my niece will really like this because she's really into like her skin, her face using mask. She loves mask. I think she will definitely like that. Next, I see this Balm Lashes from Kiss. We have this Professional Styling Gel. Ew, for Nika, for my baby. <laughs> Next, I see this Avita Cherry Almond Softening Conditioner. This is pretty good for me when I run out of conditioner. You know, put this in there for emergencies. And I also see this new Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair. Curl Stretcher Cream Rinse. This one is a shampoo, which is good. This is a protecting and silk blowout quick drying thermal spray. I honestly would not use this probably. Next, I see this pretty nail color. This is by s and Vinx Lux. Next, I see this Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is funny because I actually bought this there at the beauty con because I've been wanting to try it and I decided to buy it. If I would have known I was going to get a sample size, I would have not bought it. <laughs> but this is pretty cool. That's awesome. Next, I see more lashes. Ooh, These are pretty. These are Demi Wispies and then Wispies. 
It's three pairs, which is pretty dope, which is those three right there. Next, I see this Revlon lipstick, and this one is in the color cream. Okay, next, I see more um, hair products. This is Argan Hairspray. I see here a Skin Fix 99% Natural Dermatologist Recommended. What is it? A Foaming Clay Cleanser. Next, I see this Impressious Just Slay Compact Mirror. This will actually be good for when I'm filming, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna try to see in this one. I could just use this one. This is just like that would be cute. Next, I see more hair products. This is a temporary hair color, and it's in the color purple. Ooh, lime crime. I actually have two like liquid lipsticks, but they're like the fake kind because I got them off Wish. <laughs> and, but this is like the real deal, so I'm pretty excited to try this out. Next, I have a NYX lingering liquid lipstick. I remember when these were like in back in the day, and I never got one, and now I have one. And now I don't really want to use it. Next, I see another little mask, which I think my niece will really like this as well. <laughs> she loves face masks. She literally does face masks like twice a day. Next, I see this little coconut body scrub, which is always good to take away those dead skin. Talking about body scrubbing, I see this little set here. Next, I see this conditioning cleansing. Again, another conditioner. It's just a co-wash. Little conditioner. There's like a lot of hair stuff in here. I see this Pixie by Petra matte lipstick. Ooh, this is pretty. I also see this Cocoa Butter with Vitamin E Daily Skin Therapy Heal Soften Release Rough and Dry Skin. For us, you know that sometimes I have ashy elbows or ashy knees or ashy ankles. Don't forget your ankles, girl. This one comes in handy because it's small. You can just throw it in your purse and you're good to go. Here I see this Kojo pen by Pop Beauty. It is pretty much in a purple pencil. Oh my god, yes! This is a leave-in treatment from Shea Moisture, which I actually got a sample of this in the booth when we took a picture and I posted it to my Instagram story. I got a sample of it and it smells so good. I'm so happy I have a full size now. Yay! Here I see a new, oh it's new, Alme Illusions. I also see this Revlon. I guess this is like a lip gloss probably. I'm not too sure. Next, I see this crazy bright Crayola. This is by Sally Hansen, but it is a nail polish. This is perfect for now. Like right now that it's in the summer, this is perfect, perfect. Here is a little protein little powder, which I will not use. <laughs> this is a Macaroon Mini macaroon lip balm i see this flower beauty galaxy glaze holographic lip Ooh, this is like a pretty color you guys i don't know about you guys but i really like i'm kind of like a little over like the liquid lipstick i know i know you're like you're over the liquid lipstick but you have one on <laughs> it's because i filmed the tutorial for instagram but um i really like i'm really into like glossy lips so like lip glosses and all that i'm really into that so that will come in handy. Oh, I see this Anastasia Beverly Hills little um, hair, hair, how do you say this? What is this, a liga? How do you say liga in English? Hair time, so they know that I got money. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> got this little pop socket for my phone. Those always come in handy. Next, I see this Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Candyman. Ew. I see a CoverGirl lipstick. This is in the shade Cream Creme. Another one that is cream reminds me of like a nude color, but it's actually red. I see this little pore refiner. A mascara, which I feel like you can never have enough mascaras. For mascaras, I feel like go by so fast or you lose them, you misplace them. It's always good to have lots of mascaras. I actually have like a drawer of like four mascaras. <gasps> I see an Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Crush. Wow. Next, uh, guys, I see this all nighter long makeup lasting setter spray by Urban Decay. And here is an, oh, this is a pretty palette. This is by the brand Joa. This was my first time seeing them. I had never heard of them. It looks like they have pretty good stuff. I actually went to their booth. This is a coconut. Shea Moisturizing Shampoo. <gasps> oh, yay! Oh my god, you guys, I've been wanting to try this freaking loose powder for baking. A lot of YouTubers rave about it. And guess what? It's in here! That means I don't have to buy it. And I've been wanting to buy it for like over a year. 
<laughs> but I'm so happy I have it. I can finally try it out. I've heard wonders of this, so we'll see, girl, if it's sure or not, or if it's all just hype. Next, I see this Camel Rose Naturals Ola Whipped Butter Gel. What the hell? I see this J Cat Flash Metal Metallic Lip Waterproof. Ooh, this is sparkling. This is part two. I see a little shh, sleek sleeping has never felt so good. It's just like a little keychain for your keys. I see this Angel Fruity Fair Muggler. Pretty much like a little perfume here. Next, I see little like hair products, I guess. And this is a developer, I guess, so you want to dye your hair. Girl, bye. I see here another little on my eyeshadow set. And I see a Hourglass Mascara. I see here holographic brushes. I am shook it. These are pretty. Like I always say, you can never have enough brushes. Brushes, they honestly come through. And next I see this bag. It says Just For You by Dermastore.com. What the? Let's go ahead and open her up. So this is a night treatment. I'm not sure for what, but this is a daily cleanser and this is a refining retinol. <laughs> a pan. You know, we've got to keep those in your purse because they always come in handy as well. This little um, bag from Essence. And so let's open her up and see what's up with this. Ooh, how cute is this? It's a little palette and it has eyeshadows so you can put them in there. How adorable. That's so awesome. White cheddar um, puffs. So I guess like popcorn. I see this Charlotte by Charlotte Roos. It is pretty much a liquid lipstick in there. This is a pop band London, the world's kindest hair tie. So it's another hair tie. And these are just um, little... Oh, this is a makeup wipes and then like little samples of face masks and whatnot. And let's see here, I think this is the last makeup product that there is. This is by Nude Stick. It's pretty much like a lip liner. Another little makeup. Oh, it's a pillow blend. It's a silicone beauty blender by Pure Cosmetics. Okay, now last but not least, you guys. I pretty much just have a bunch of... We have a bunch of pretty much sheet masks. To try out, you know. <gasps> Is this a freaking gift card? Oh no. But you guys, that is pretty much it for <laughs> that is pretty much it for the unbagging of the Beautycon bag. Overall, I think it is pretty much worth it, honestly, the two hauler passes. Not only because of this bag, honestly. Hold on, I need, I need to think. Not only is it worth it because of the hauler bag, but I think what's most important is that you're able to get into the event two hours, girl, bye, two hours before general admission does, which honestly saves you so much time, especially if you're going with like a game plan, you know, like what booths to hit first, which ones are like the ones that fill up the most, you'll be able to have an advantage of getting stuff, getting stuff done quicker and whatnot. So if you guys do go to BeautyCon, I would recommend you guys to eat elsewhere. Me and my friend made the mistake of eating there. And honestly, the food is so expensive and it's not that great. So I would recommend you guys to like walk somewhere but um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this BeautyCon unbagging. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you went this year or if you're planning to go next year. If you guys have not watched my BeautyCon vlog, I'll definitely link it down below. So you guys can go ahead and take a look at it. But, whew, that's a lot of talking. <laughs> but that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not part of the beauty family. 
what is you're really doing honey go ahead and hit that red button down below subscribe join the family and give it a thumbs up and comment down below whether you're planning to go to beauty con next year if so i'll see you there girl <laughs> but i'll go ahead and catch you guys in my next video bye guys You can never have enough mm, shampoos. Where the hell are all my things? Are you kidding me? You honestly don't mean...